answer quite a lot in our lives. Something pretty important. Um, over the past month, or maybe two months, I've had a couple I've been asking repeatedly. Mainly, why on earth did I sign myself up for this? <laughs> and now I'm doing it, what do I talk about? Uh, if you ask my wife, she'd certainly tell you I'm a goldmine of useless information. Uh, probably for the amount of QI episodes I've watched. And I could certainly talk to you for hours about uh, computers, but I'm not here to bore you. So, Then, recently, on a training session I attended for work, I had a bit of a light mold moment. Um, why not talk about this, you know, talking to you guys, you know, the challenge that it's, that it's uh, giving me. So this kind of came from a quote that I read on one of our training papers. Uh, it's from Franklin D. Roosevelt, and during the uh, address to the uh, United States University, he said, it's common sense to take a method and try it. If it fails, admit it frankly and try another. But above all, try something. Now, it sounds simple, doesn't it? Try, fail, try something else. But too often, people don't try. They just don't do it. And is it because people are asking to cut off their own heads? Well, I doubt it, because how is that often that going to come up? So recently, I'd kind of decided that I'd be more receptive to challenges, you know, push myself and see how far I can go. You know, it's not difficult. Um, yep, still alive, it's not killed me yet. <laughs> so what I kind of found is this is a prime example. Public speaking is not a strong point of mine. My talking points, you know, my speed of talking doesn't lend to it. I kind of compare this to record speeds. Most people speak at 33 and a third, you know, quite normal speed. Me, generally, I talk at 45. When I get nervous, I ramp up to 75. <laughs> people just can't understand what the hell I'm saying. But if I don't try and push myself, how am I going to know what I can do? And this kind of comes about as well from a quote I read by T.S. Eliot. He said, only those who risk going too far can possibly find out how far they can go. Another simple one, not rocket science. Unless you push yourself, you don't know what your full potential is going to be. Now, speaking of rocket science, I'd like to think that JFK was reading this quote when he was kind of thinking about putting his uh, speech together for Congress, sat in pipe and slippers thinking, it's pretty good. And he pushed the nation to kind of get to the moon by the end of the decade. Not just get to the moon, but someone walk on it and come back safely. Um, by the end of the decade, Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong had walked on the moon and come back safely. And at this point, you know, one person had gone to space, one American, for a flight less than 15 minutes. Pretty big challenge. <laughs> now, obviously I've not been to the moon. Cardiff's quite far from me, I'm from England. Um, but, no. <laughs> But, um, yeah, anyway, back to <laughs> lost back now. Uh, a couple of years ago, I was in London on a training course, and being a bit of a rebel, I kind of decided, you know, I'll answer some emails, you know, make sure my team are doing well. Answered some queries, sent off some responses, told one of my guys to speak to my boss. Another email came in, pretty important, you know, look at the subject, thought, I better answer it. Got no excuse now, I've been doing it before. Have a quick look, and my heart kind of stopped realized my colleague was telling me my boss had been suspended indefinitely. Bit of a sticking point, had to duck out of the room, try and think, oh my God, what are we gonna do? You know, how has this been working for my team? What are they thinking? What are we gonna do? We've got some big plans ahead. But you think, well, the company's got plans for this. They're gonna get hold of it. No, not at all. Um, but I decided, you know, I got back from, from the course and I thought, take while the reins, you know, keep moving, take up what my boss left behind and get things moving. You know, keep pushing ahead. And what I found is that things kept moving, projects went ahead, and I actually got discovered and kind of came to the attention of the decision makers in the company. Just because I decided to challenge myself, put myself out there, and see what I could do. Now, at this point, you know, it's kind of led to where I got to now as head of IT at my current company. This was only a couple of years ago. And what I'm trying to tell you is just push yourself and find your true potential. Now, you may I'm going through this, I don't mean to sound like a bit of a motivational speaker, try and get you to go out and do anything. You don't need me to tell you to go and do stuff. But it's just a side note, just say, if you don't challenge yourself now and again, you don't know what you can do. And it may only be little things to do. <laughs> so my final quote is from a guy called Jeffrey Dunn, who's an American marathon runner, who decided to do the New York Marathon for 29 days consecutively ending in the actual run. And he said, 
don't limit your challenges, challenge your limits. And it kind of just proves that once you do, you can find out what you can actually do. And uh, that's the end of what I've got to say. So. Good work, Louis. Well done.